When there are starter issues, you may think about doing a current draw test to pinpoint the issue. Yet, on a Class 8 truck, a current draw test may not reveal what you need to know to fix your cranking problem. Plus, on these vehicles, a current draw test is more involved and time-intensive. And perhaps most frustrating, you often don't get an accurate reading. For those reasons, the Borg Warner technical team recommends another diagnostic route to identify the issue and fix the cranking problem. Let's go through the steps the Borg Warner team recommends for troubleshooting your starter. The first step is to identify the symptoms. With a cranking system, symptoms are divided into one of three possible troubleshooting categories. Click, no crank, no click, no crank, and slow crank. With click, no crank, the solenoid clicks, but the starter doesn't crank. In no click, no crank, the solenoid doesn't click, and the starter doesn't crank. And finally, with a slow crank, the starter will crank. However, the engine RPM is slow to start the vehicle. Once you've identified which problem you're dealing with, then you can start to remedy it. For each issue, the initial troubleshooting is the same. You start with the batteries. Charge the batteries and perform a battery load test on the battery bank. If the load test fails, then individually test each battery and replace any faulty ones. Once batteries pass muster, then perform a voltage drop test on the starter main cables. The starter voltage drop should be less than 0.5 volts drop total on the cranking circuit. This is an important step and is often the cause of a slow cranking complaint. Yet voltage drop is also a leading cause of click or no click complaints because almost every vehicle manufacturer uses the heavy positive post located on the starter solenoid as a place to pick up the current used to supply the control unit. Until now, the diagnostic path has remained the same regardless of the complaint. Now is where you address the specific issue. Remember, for the starter to be cranking, the control circuit would have to be working. So if battery and cable checks are within specification and the vehicle still cranks slowly, then it's a slow cranking problem and it's time to replace the starter. For click no crank issues, check the control circuit. If the starter does not contain an integrated magnetic switch, or IMS, then a voltage drop test will need to be performed on the vehicle control circuit. If the starter does have an IMS switch function, then the technician will have to verify that the vehicle's control circuit is providing voltage to the starter IMS. Just like the slow cranking complaint, if all systems have been checked and the starter is found to be the cause, the ring gear should also be inspected for damage that could cause future starter damage. For further diagnostics, troubleshooting, or other questions, contact the Technical Support Center. You can also visit us online.